the University of Hong Kong promotes multidisciplinary learning and real-world application. A broad range of subjects are available so that our students can learn different perspectives and better experience the world, even from within the classroom. HKU's teaching and learning is aimed at helping students expand their horizons. As a kid growing up in Hong Kong, I'm sure you're told that, oh, there are people who you know, are really poor, people who are really underprivileged, but um, I don't think it really made an effect on me until I went there and I experienced that living in a village where most of the houses didn't have electricity, didn't have running water. It started off when I joined the MOE program by the Faculty of Social Sciences. That's when I went to um, a developing country and volunteered there for two months. And afterwards, when I came back to Hong Kong, I met up with other students who did the same thing. And we all found that it was a really life-changing experience. And we wanted to be able to share that same experience with other Hong Kong students. So that's when we started Connecting Myanmar, which is the name of our initiative. And we want to let other university students be able to use their own skills while fulfilling local needs that we've seen in Myanmar. I think um, the university is a really great um, ground for us to get started. On this platform, we've been able to meet up with other students who are really interested, professors who are really supportive. And um, of course, the university also provides us with some funding to do the substantive project itself. I want to use my legal skills in order to help other people have more secure lives. My dream is to become an architect, ultimately. When I was younger, I used to play with Legos, and Legos were always the building blocks of how I would create my creations and how I would make different ideas and how to create them into life. We always think about architecture as something that surrounds our life, and we're always constantly bombarded with buildings, and we're always in buildings, and how we always control how people live and how they work. And I think that's really interesting, and that really drove me into this field. What's really special about our course is that we get the opportunity to go to the Shanghai Study Center for one semester during year two. And we get to experience two totally different cities, although they're in the same country. We study the urbanism and the lifestyle of how people move and how buildings are created in Shanghai and in Hong Kong. My plan for the future is to train new Afghan journalists and train them what I've learned at Hong Kong University. The last semester at Hong Kong U, my professor, Kevin Said, he asked me and says uh, how and where we can find the Taliban commander to ask him and interview him. He says, well, I'm trying to go back to Afghanistan and write the, the articles about uh, war and fighting and clash and this kind of things like, you know, from Afghanistan. Do you want to go with me? I said, well, yes. I called uh, someone in a Kalaizal district in Kunduz province. So he told us that there's a commander. Uh, he was with Taliban just two weeks ago, but now he's with us. Uh, so he's still thinking which side is good or which side is not good to being with Afghan government or Taliban or whatever. So we went there quickly to, this, to that district and we found that man and he told us all the story about the Taliban and how they're fighting and why they're fighting. So that was interesting for me, even for my professor to interview that former commander of Taliban because he was an important commander of the Taliban. So that was, that was good for us to interview him and get all the information. In Hong Kong, especially at Hong Kong U, uh, every moment for me, it was, uh, it was great and I can't forget that. We were kind of a family. So every time we were talking, we were eating together, we were walking, we had a hiking, we had a sport and jokes. Yeah, that was a very good environment for me. I learned violin since I was six, nearly 14 years. My dream career is administration manager in orchestra. I'm the chairperson of uh, Union Philharmonic Orchestra this academic year. Hong Kong U gives us a lot of freedom to organize uh, many things. 
the orchestra I work in, it is a student organization. So all the functions or anything organized by students. I'm really happy that I studied in Hong Kong Youth.